Hi, my name's David, and in the previous video we showed you how to create a warehouse and how to create and set up your fixed assets. In this video we're going to show you how to create a bank, connect your bank account, create bank rules, upload your bank statement, and do bank reconciliation. So let's go and click on connect bank. Inside here I can input my account name, so for example OCBC Bank. I can input the description. and then I can click Save and Next. Now inside here I can go search for my bank or if my bank is shown on the screen I can just click on it like OCBC. Then I can put in my access code PIN and select authentication type for example SMS OTP, mobile banking app, token device and then I can click Proceed. Now if I go here and I look at these banks and I don't see it I can go click here and search for it. For example, OCBC. And you can see here under Singapore we have OCBC Velocity and OCBC, so I can select which one. Now if you don't want to connect your bank, you can just click Skip. Now if we go to the Bank tab, I can see my OCBC bank here. Now if I go over to the right hand side and click on the three dots, I can Edit, Connect, connect to Stripe, import my statement, and delete it. I can also click Reconcile. Also on the screen I can click Add Bank Account, so it'll take me directly to the same screen that you saw earlier. So let's go click on three dots, and let's import statement, and let's download the sample file. Now if you have your own bank statement, you don't need a download or sample file, you can just drag and drop it into here. But if for whatever reason you don't have it, and you want to use ours, you can just download the sample file, click here, and open it on up. Enable editing. Let's scroll over here, and let's increase the size. Inside here I can see the transaction date, so let's update it. I update both. I can update the transaction amount. You can copy and paste the payee or you can just type it on in. I can enter a description. For example, and for example maybe I can input any reference, update the check number, and update the transaction type. After that's all done, I can click here and press save, and then I can close it. Inside here I can just drag and drop the file, or I can click browse, and I can select the file and click open. After that I can click next. Inside here I can see the imported file headers and the Descara headers. Now if you're using your own template, these may not match. So you'll have to click here and select which field should be mapped to here. you also see transaction date. There's a number format, so inside here you can select which number format is the format that you've actually typed in, or is shown in your bank statement. We also have one column, and you can also click here for two columns. So what does this mean? It means that both credit and debit are in the same column if it's one column. If credit and debit amounts are in separate columns, it's two columns. So you can select which one you want. After that, you can click Next. You can look at all this information. In case of duplicate records, you want to reject the duplicate or import the duplicate rows. So you have to decide on this. And then after that, you can click Submit. Now the file's been uploaded. Please check the import log for more details. So now if I click on Reconcile, I'll be able to see my transactions here. If for whatever reason it did not import correctly, you can go to Settings, Import Log. Inside here you can see your bank statement, accounts, your bill of materials, your products, and your contacts. So all the data that's been imported you can see here. I can see the original and I can see what's been imported successfully. If there's a red file here it means these are the records that were not imported correctly. Now let's go back to bank 
And now let's create some bank rules. So let's go click here under rules. And let's add a rule. Inside here I can add the name of the rule. So for example, maybe I want to call this John Computers. But you can think of it like different types of recurring payments that always come to your bank and you want this to be auto created every time. So I'm just putting this name here for example is John Computers. The type can be credit or debit. I can select my bank account. Is it all or specific bank? I can select the condition. Is it and or or? I can choose which field to search for. Description, payee, transaction, date, or amount. So for example, payee. Now I can say is exactly, contains, or doesn't contain. So let's put contains. And let me type in, for example, John. After that, I can select the contact. For example, John's computers. So this will be what is created when these conditions are met. So for example, my contact will be John's computers, my account. For example, I'm just selecting test, but you can select which account you want here. You can select the tax component. You can select the payment method, any reference number, transaction, is it advance payment or direct deposit, and any memo. After that, you can choose. Do you want to review and create or auto create? So for this one, I'm just going to select auto create. I'm in view matching transactions. So you can see here my transactions are mapping. But what happens if there's more than one John? Maybe there's a unique identifier, like, for example, description. All John's transactions has this unique description. So if I go back, I can add another condition that the payee, or not payee, sorry, that the description contains this unique identifier. And then I can say view matching transactions. I can see it populates up here, and I can save it. Now you can see our rule has been created. You can see the name priority applied to the conditions settings, status, and auto create. And if I hover over conditions, I can see my conditions here. Let's go click add rule. This time we're going to call it Marie's keyboards. We're going to select the type. This time it's going to be debit. And we're going to select OCBC. We're going to select description contains keyboards. Next, let's select the contact. Select the account. We can select any tax component here. We can select the payment method. So this time let's do check. Let's put it in the reference number. Transaction type. Is it a prepayment or direct expense? Let's select direct expense. Let's put in a memo. And this time we're going to select review and create. View matching transactions. I can see the transaction here. And I can click save. Now both my rules have been created. Now let's go back and let's click on the bank. Inside here we can see the two transactions that we imported. We can see John's computers and we can see it's already matched. The reason for this is that our rules said to auto create. So you can see under Descara transactions that the direct deposit has already been created. For Marie's keyboards we selected the option to review and match. So now when we click match, you can see all the information that we entered is automatically populated. And we have the option to create expense, find bill to match, find expense to match. Now inside here, we also have the ability to split. You can split into multiple accounts to match the record. So what does this mean? If I click split, it brings this up. And then I can go here and start adding in the accounts. So for example, maybe test account two test account and maybe I want this four five hundred and three hundred after all that I can click create and you can see now it's matched if I go to transactions I can see the transaction has been created now if I go back to bank and just to show you if I click unmatch and I click match again you can see that under find expense to match our expense is here since we've already created it earlier and then I can match it again. Now if I go back to bank I go click on my OCBC bank and click reconcile I can see they're all matched. If you've already created your buy and sell transactions in Scara they will also populate here 
as well as your bank statements. So you don't have to have a rule to have these created. You can actually just match them here automatically. After all the matching is done and everything looks correct, you can click Confirm. You can see the period here. You can see the reconciliation date. You can attach any file and then you can save it. I'm going to specifically make this August and save. Now my bank has been reconciled. Now if I go to reports, I go to the reconciliation log report and I change the date to August. I can see it right here. And also I can see any attached document if I attached any. Now if I go to bank reconciliation summary, I can see the information here. Also I can select which bank and of course I can change the period. And that's a quick look at how to create bank, connect bank to a bank account, create bank rules, upload bank statement, and do bank reconciliation in Discara books.